I think it hasn't changed me. Uh, I won't change for um, a presidency, but I, I think um, you know a lot after uh, sort of uh, experience you, you got in, in, in such a year. You know a lot of persons, you know a lot of situations, you learn also to manage crisis. Um, one can say that we know before, but uh, in, the, in the reality it is something else and you have to, to learn every day. And I think I, I got a lot of experiences, of uh, human experiences, and, and I liked it also to do that. I think security in the broadest uh, term and sense, it's very, very important for, for us as a country, for, for us also as a world. And the, the fact that you can uh, discuss and uh, work together with a person with other point of views and find a consensus in the end, it was possible, um, is for my opinion, in my opinion, very, very important. I think Switzerland is a country which has a special uh, relation to foreign policy. We are very autonomous and we don't like to to be too active in the, the foreign policy. And on the other side, it is very important for us, and it is also in our constitution, that we can bring something for, for freedom, for, for uh, values, and above all, for peace. And therefore, it was possible this year not to make uh, everything we wanted to do, but to try to make the situation not so problematic, not so serious uh, as it could be. And therefore, I think Switzerland discovered that she, it can be useful for the world. There, there were moving moments um, with the uh, meetings with young people everywhere in the OSC area. Above all, with those uh, young people coming from Western Balkans and saying, uh, uh, well, uh, dealing with the past is important but de dealing with the future is more important. And uh, we have to, to try to, to reach to more perspectives for, for these uh, young people. Um, but also what was moving in a sense, uh, which was uh, very difficult and dangerous, was the hostage time. As we had hosted in, um, in um, Ukraine, and at the end they were freed, they were released, and it was good. But this time was uh, quite difficult and um, um, during the whole year it was also this feeling I had. I felt that there was a really huge responsibility with human people working in field missions, working in situations that are dangerous. The greatest challenge for the Organization of Security Cooperation in Europe is to, to reach to consensus, to have the possibility to convince 57 member states that they have an interest, each of them, an interest to work closely together and to, to um, act also together. And um, uh, that was a, a real big challenge, but it was uh, possible to succeed uh, already in March. And, uh, that has, a, a, that has a, 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 a big importance for the whole year because already in March we've seen that there was a, a possibility and a willingness, a will to act in this organization. I think some of the organization, some member states and some people uh, around the organization just uh, has been very astonished that it was possible, but it was possible. And then um, my wish is that it should be, this moment should be, uh, the momentum should be kept and uh, we should continue, pursue this way and uh, building in the future uh, uh, on this capacity to act. I don't have any regrets. Um, I'm proud that uh, we could do something which was um, made by heart. I, I think we we came with a Swiss diplomacy, with a lot of Swiss people uh, working in every, uh, in every uh, functions in this organization. And uh, I think everybody gave uh, what, possible, what, it, what, uh, what it was possible uh, on a professional basis, but also came with heart, it came with a willingness to, to give something of Swiss policy, Swiss sense of 
peace. And it was a sense of mediation, sense of dialogue. And I think it was a, a good year for that. But there is a lot to do for the future. Uh, just work a lot, um, be patient, um, listen to everybody and uh, try to convince them that they have to work together.